Good morning. It's uh, Tuesday, July 10th. Uh, one of our major stories today is the FAO has released its uh, annual report on status of the world fisheries. And there's a lot of positive news for the global seafood industry. Uh, first, uh, total fish capture production, which uh, declined a little bit in 2010, is expected to uh, rebound uh, significantly in 2011. Uh, the FAO is predicting a uh, harvest uh, capture of over 90 million metric tons, and it's going to be the highest number they've uh, projected in six years. Aquaculture production has also tended to sur has been surging and has been growing at a rate of about 7.5% uh, a year. Uh, for 2011, uh, aquaculture production is expected to be over uh, 60 million metric tons. The upshot is that the uh, supply of uh, fish and seafood for human consumption on a global scale has risen remarkably over the last few years. Uh, in 2011, it is projected to be 18.4 kilos per person out of a global population of 7 billion people. This is a remarkable record of achievement. Since 2006, per capita availability of seafood for human consumption has increased at over 2% a year. Uh, this is uh, phenomenal. Now, when you take into account uh, the fact that the population has been growing during this time as well, the actual net rise of seafood production, both aquaculture and wild capture, has been about 14% since 2006. Uh, we're getting up to nearly 3% a year. The, this is a phenomenal achievement. There were also other areas of good news in the report. Uh, the FAO noted that there was a slight decrease in the percentage of fisheries that are classified as overexploited uh, to just under 30%. Uh, the figure uh, from a year ago was about 32%. Uh, on the other hand, the number of fisheries that are actually assessed by the FAO on this exploitation index uh, has increased uh, substantially. So overall, uh, the amount of uh, world fisheries that are now currently overexploited is in fact declining. And this is very significant. The biggest uh, problem area for overexploited fisheries continues to be international high seas fisheries, particularly of highly migratory species like tuna and to some extent sharks. Um, but on the other hand, the FAO notes that many uh, areas of the world have been getting a much better handle on fisheries management and are now seeing real results uh, in terms of uh, the U.S., in terms of the number of fisheries that are now at their maximum sustainable yield or below, uh, in terms of Australia, New Zealand, uh, Northern Europe, uh, there's just a lot of areas you can look at and say that, in fact, the fish populations in these areas, from a wild capture point of view, are on the road to sustainability. What is the significance of this? Well, I don't think that people can use anymore the FAO with a headline saying that most of the world's fisheries are in trouble. Most of the world's fisheries are not in trouble. Uh, there's certainly a large number of them that are fully exploited, but those that are fully exploited are now more and more staying within the parameters of their uh, sustainability functions. And for example, if you look at um, uh, the coast of South America, Peru and Chile, uh, there have been very significant cutbacks in anchovies and, and mackerel and horse mackerel and, and, and whiting, all due to uh, less stock or, or stock cycles. Uh, to the extent that these catches fluctuate, it is not a function of poor fish management. It's a function of successfully keeping uh, the amount of fish caught within the allowable quotas. Uh, the FAO report seems to indicate that progress is being made on this. So all in all, I think this is a surprisingly optimistic report. The FAO talks about how fish management has to be people-centered. They said that about 15% of the protein intake in the world is based on seafood and fish sources, and that for uh, about 25% of the population, this represents one of the most significant forms of animal protein. So there's a big incentive uh, to 
focus on sustainability from a people-centered manner, and that we're not trying to preserve fish in some abstract way. We're trying to secure an important food resource into the future. Uh, in Lexington, Mass., this is John Sackton.